Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about some Chrome extensions that I use when I develop Shopify sites and, and I, when I'm creating Shopify sites. You should see each of these as a tool that serves a different functionality in your toolkit. So the first one that I actually want to cover is uh, this Koala Inspector. And so I actually didn't know about this extension until very recently. Um, one of my clients uh, let me know about it. So Mark, if you're watching this, thank you bunches for letting me know about this extension. The best functionality of this extension is the fact that it basically allows you when you're on Shopify sites to see the apps that they're using for different functionality in their site. So you can see that this site, for instance, for their loyalty and rewards program uses Yachtpo. And if we go ahead and click on this, it'll take us to the actual uh, store page for this app. This is really great. Um, you know, when you're first building your site and, you, and you're looking at other sites in your niche and whatnot, and maybe wanting to emulate them in certain areas, uh, this is a great app to have. One note that I would give to beginners who are, who are doing that sort of thing, that you do have to take into account the fact that each site and each business is sort of positioned in its own unique way in the market. So uh, just because another site does something uh, does not necessarily mean if you copy everything that site does, uh, you're gonna get the exact same results as, the, as they do. What I would urge you to do, try to answer for yourself, why did they lay out their site this way? Why do they uh, do this with their business? And just by merely asking and answering that question, you do start to over time build that skill of, of understanding why different businesses make different decisions in the e-commerce space. The next extension that we're going to be looking at is called Colorzilla. And so I'll leave links to these extensions down in the description of this video. But essentially what this um, extension is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to basically click on any spot on a web page, on any web page, and basically grab a color from there. So you can see when I hover over, this is this like little color swatch here. When I hover over this, the brown of this shoe, it's going to basically copy that color to my clipboard. This is super, super helpful and it's gonna save you tons of time when you are trying to uh, you know, do web design or when you're doing a little bit of graphic design or whatever, right? And you forget, okay, what exact text value did I use for this color on my site? This extension is a lifesaver. Definitely get it if you don't have an extension that provides the type of functionality that this extension provides. All right, so the next extension that I wanna cover is this here. What you need to understand here is just get an, an ad blocker. You can get into the ethics of using ad blockers and everything like that. Um, I don't really wanna do that in this video. The reason that I bring this up is because what you need to understand is 27% of web traffic uses ad blockers. So when you're designing your site, you need to be very mindful of uh, what your site looks like, what is what is actually happening, what pop-ups are occurring and stuff like that when there's an ad blocker turned on. Because, um, you know, as I said, over a quarter of the traffic to your site uses that, an ad blocker. So you'll see if I go ahead and turn this off and I refresh the site, now I'm getting this pop-up that I didn't get before, right? And so it's it's helpful to know, okay, this is actually what my site looks like without an ad blocker, and this is what it looks like with an ad blocker turned on. That's one of the things that I would really recommend. All right, the next extension that I would highly recommend is called Unhook. So this extension allows you to basically hide recommended videos on YouTube in many different areas. And the reason I recommend this extension is because if you're anything like me, you don't have a problem with staying off of social media sites, except for YouTube. For me personally, YouTube is the one thing where all the other social media sites, I don't understand them really um, as far as like why people spend hours and hours on them. YouTube, I 100% get. Uh, YouTube is extremely engaging to me. There's been so many times before I had this extension where, you know, I go into YouTube planning on watching one video and then two hours later, I come out of the YouTube rabbit hole and I'm like, holy crap, I just wasted two hours of my life. Let me demo this extension a little bit. So if I go and type in the best channel on YouTube and pull up one of my videos, um, you can see how this extension works. So you can see that my suggested video tab here is completely gone and it centers this player very nicely and everything like that. Basically, this allows you to be a lot more intentional in your viewing of YouTube. Uh, the other thing that, that I have set up here that, that's super awesome is when I go to the home my home feed of YouTube, it actually redirects to my subscriptions page. In the entirety of this video, this is the best feature that I'm gonna suggest to you guys is literally this right here. By redirecting yourself to your subscription page, you're basically short-circuiting the YouTube algorithm 
Um, cause you know, YouTube, they want to get you on the platform. They want you to watch for hours and hours and hours. That's how they make their money. Um, by doing this, you're basically saying like, no, I don't want your, I don't want your recommendations. I want to view what I want to view. Right. And you're, you're just seeing your people that you've subscribed to the, the content creators you're, you already know. So this extension, obviously it doesn't relate hundred percent to Shopify, um, more just time management in general. But you know, my, my feeling is the more time you save, as far as time management goes, you can put that time into uh, running your business and whatnot. So it so it all helps out in the end. OK, so the final extension that I want to cover is called Grammarly. Again, it's not like specific to Shopify, but it is super helpful when you're doing things like product copy or ad copy or even just writing uh, business emails or whatever, um, where you want to appear much more professional than you actually are and much more like you actually know how to spell than you actually do. This is really going to save you in a ton of cases where you accidentally make a typo. You accidentally substitute a word that shouldn't be there. Um, all that sort of stuff. Grammarly is going to catch that. And I find Grammarly is, is first of all, it works in so many more places than um, traditional like spell check or whatever grammar check does on your browser. And then the other thing is that it is it is so much better. They have a premium version. I just use the free version because the premium starts to get again to like, it'll be like, oh, you sound business oriented. Did you actually want to sound casual? It's like, now I don't need, uh, you know, Grammarly to tell me like what I sound like. You know, that's just a little bit of judgment that I don't um, need in my life. But with Grammarly, right, it's going to save you in a ton of cases where you accidentally make a typo. It'll point it out and be like, did you not mean to put this space here in timeline? You actually meant timeline, you dummy. Um, and you'll be like, yeah, I did mean timeline. Guys, those are some extensions that I use in my day to day as far as uh, running a Shopify store goes and developing Shopify stores. Let me know in the comments what extensions you use. Um, I'd love to hear because I'm always, you know, interested in, in uh, building my toolkit when it comes to Shopify development. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.